Shalom, shalom, and greetings to the daughters of Tezion. The Feast of Tabernacle 2020. I'm only coming to the daughters of Tezion here from Teshua community. Here we have the daughters here at Teshua, and I am Ima Rafael. Before we get started, I'd like for our young daughters to come, and they're going to sing a selection. And after they sing a selection, we'll have a support to quote a scripture. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you. Hallelujah. 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 And this song is written by one of the young daughters here. Oh, Samara. Hallelujah. 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 Be set me free and I am happy. Happy. And that's why I pray. Praise God for he is mighty. Praise God for he is tough. of Tezion and this afternoon I'm coming to you to share with you some of the tough uh, words that we've been hearing here at Teshua during the feast days and the two words that uh, stuck out to me on yesterday Reah came first and he talked about Ahava Zakin Yeromia talked about long suffering and in order to be a follower of Yeshua HaMashiach we must have both. We must have the pure Ahava of Almighty Yahweh. And we must be long suffering. Hallelujah. 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 So as I looked over these scriptures today, I didn't look over them last time, but I did look over them today. And I know that Almighty Yahweh, I want Almighty Yahweh to teach me his ways. Hallelujah. In order for us to have the pure Ahava of Yahweh, and to be long-suffering, we must be taught the ways of Almighty Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm only going to use the scripture verses that Rayak and Zakin Yeramia used on yesterday. And the first scripture verse is coming from Psalms, Tehillim 86, 10, and 11. And it reads, For thou art great, O Yah, and you do wondrous things. You Almighty Yah and you alone. T 
Teach me your way, O Yah. I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I do. I want Yah to unite my heart. I want to have the pure Ahava of Almighty Yah. Phileto, as Rayak said on yesterday, the word is phileto. You want to serve. I want to be able to serve the people with a pure Ahava from Almighty Yah. Verse 12, and it reads, I will praise thee, O Yah, Hallelujah. my Abba, Hallelujah. with my whole leg. Hallelujah. I will honor your name forever. Hallelujah. 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 And you say, well, how do I do that in my everyday living? Hallelujah. That's how you honor Yah. Yes, yes. You keep the Torah, you keep the commandments of, of Almighty Yahweh, and you let those words of truth cleanse your mind. Yes. If it cleanses your mind, it will clean your mouth up too. Yes. You just can't say whatever you want out of your mouth no. and say you love Yah. Yes. How can Bitter and sweet dwell in the same vessel. It, can. it cannot. So in order for you to do this, you must let Yahshua come in and purge you thoroughly. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 I want to go to Ephesians. Praise Yah. And I want to start at chapter 4. I want to read verses 2 through 4. It says, With all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering." Forbearing one another in Ahava. There is one body and one Ruah, even as you are called in one Tigva of your calling. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ephesians 5, verses 1 through 4. It says, But be ye therefore followers of Yah as dear children, and walk in Ahava as Yahshua also has ahavat us and has given himself for us an offering to Yah for a sweet smelling Savior. Yeah. So as we understand this, there must be a purging. We can't continue to walk in our old ways and our, the old ways that we used to think and follow Yahshua HaMashiach. For once he comes in, if you let him, he can thoroughly purge you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The way I used to think, I don't think that way anymore. The words that came out my mouth when I was in sin, I don't speak that way anymore. Hallelujah. 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 It says, but fornication and all uncleanliness, covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becoming Kodesh daughters. Neither filthiness nor foolish talking nor gesturing, which is not convenient, but rather giving Toda. If you give Toda unto Almighty Yah, and you govern what you say at your mouth, daughters, can I tell you, there will be no slip-ups. No slip-ups. Because, like I said, bitterness, we can't dwell in the same vessel. No. So once you start picking up your daily ledger, and you study, you find out who this Yahshua is, he will come in and cleanse you yes. if you let him. Yes. So I told her, y'all, the way I used to walk, the way I used to think, I don't think that way anymore. Oh, yeah. 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 Can I tell you, once he came in, he showed me how to dress. Yeah. You said, did he really show you, pick out your clothing? No. The word cleansed me. Yes. And I knew what to put on and what not to put on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. No, y'all didn't come and talk to me. I hear the messenger. As I hear the messenger, and I shema, I have turned from my evil ways. No, I didn't always walk this way, daughters. I had to be taught. And I told her, y'all, for where I'm with, because he taught me this way. As he would study the truth, he would set me down and instruct me in righteousness. So I told her, y'all, for my ish, he showed me how to walk this way. I didn't fight it, because I knew I was vile. I knew I was unclean. I know I didn't know which way to yes. go. I said, but Yah, if you show me, if you teach me, I will follow. So I told Yah for the messenger. Let me read Ephesians 5 and 8. And it reads, it says, For ye were sometimes in darkness, and I was, but now you are the light of Yahshua HaMashiach. 
walk as children in the light. Hallelujah. So if you're saying you know Yahshua, you know who Almighty Yah is, then you can't do things the way you did them in the world. No. We're not of the world. We are in it for a time, yes. but we are just pilgrims passing through. Yes. We must let the light of Yeshua HaMashiach shine yes. so that you can help some other daughter. Yes. You can't help some other daughter if you're walking in sin. Mm -hmm. If you're doing those things of darkness and wickedness, you can't help no one. No. So when you let Yahshua make you free, then you can. I do tell to y'all for this communal setting yes. that we can help each other, yeah. we strengthen each other, yes. we yeah. encourage each other. Hallelujah. Yeah. You say, well, who's in charge? Yahshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. We're followers of Yahshua HaMashiach. Yes. Hallelujah. No, we haven't all gotten what we need to be, but we strengthen each other in our daily walks. Yes. And as we see each other, we know what's right to do. Yes. We assist each other in our work. It's not just me doing all the work. We have other sisters that live here, and we we assist each other. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If a daughter has on something that's not appropriate, we let that daughter know. We don't let her go all day long with that no. with that on. We tell her, no, you can't wear that. Yes. That's not appropriate. That's not Kodash. We're not trying to impress nobody here. Hallelujah. We just want to impress Almighty God in our daily. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me go back to Psalms. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to finish Psalms 86. I just want to finish up one verse from there. Verse 13. It says, For great is Yah's hasi towards us. And it is. He didn't yeah. cut us off when we were in our sins. No. But he's given us a space of time to repent and to get things right. Totally, yeah. It says, Thou hast delivered my message. From the lowest hell. I wasn't ready for the kingdom and I sure wasn't ready for hell. So he gives each daughter a space of time Hallelujah. to get it right. It don't take no 40 years to get it right, daughters. It doesn't. Once you hear this truth, once you hear it, you're held accountable. You can't say, well, I didn't know because you do know. Y'all yes. know you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the only thing you have to do is just become a doer of this truth. Hallelujah. Cleanse up your, cleanse your mind. Cleanse your heart. You say, where is my heart? It's really here. The way you do things. Hallelujah. There's nobody here no better than anybody else. No. Once you hear this truth, you must become obedient. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. Yah. So Yah has shown us great kindness by the hearing of the messengers. And Yah's truth has made us free. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Let me go to Philippians. Praise Yah. Philippians 2 verse 5. Right. Praise Yah. Hallelujah. It says, let this mind that is in Yahshua, let it be in you also. The mind of Yahshua. Does he say anything out of his mouth? Does he speak filthy? No. Does he do lewd things? No. no. He came in the power of Almighty Yah. Yes. And we must walk in that power too. Yes. yes. There was a Cain and there was an Abel. And I am Abel. Hallelujah. And as we hear this truth, we must be more. We must be just like Abel. Yes. Not yes. like Cain. Yes. Cain's deeds were evil. That's why he slew his brother. We must understand that. And we must walk in this truth in all obedience. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. I want to go to Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 and 2. It says, If you then be risen with Yahshua, seek those things which are above, where Yahshua sits on the right hand of Yah. Set your affections on things above and not on the things on the old land. So, daughters, we can't worry about a house or a car or keeping up with the worldly fashions. We must set our mind on Yahshua HaMashiach to be like Him. You say, well, what is a woman's job? To obey all Torah truth. Yes. To desire a husband and ish. To want to be a mother. Yes. To be a keeper at home. That's what we teach yes. our daughters. Yes. Not to go to college. No. Because where in Torah does it tell the young women to go to college? 
You say, well, you said you did. Well, of course I did. I made many mistakes in life. But I'm redeeming the time. Hallelujah. Yeah. I am redeeming the time. I was so glad when Ralph told me I could come off my job. I wanted to do a cartwheel. Because I knew that's what, where I should not have been. You have to combat the forces of hell all day long. True. All day long. Then you come home and you're vexed. And you're not kind to your itch when you're vexed like that. Hallelujah. So that's why y'all doesn't want us out there. You say, well, what do I do? You just start redeeming the time. You start doing what is right. Hear the messenger first. Yes. Can I tell you, once y'all knows where your heart is, he will make you free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me go to verse 8, still in Colossians, verse 8 through 10. It says, but now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Govern what you say out of your mouth. We're not women of the evening. Hallelujah. No. Totally yeah. It says, lie not one to another, seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds. We don't lie one to another. No. We don't practice that. that. We know that that's not of yeah. True. I don't want one of you daughters to lie to me, and I'm certainly not going to lie to you. No. What for? I have nothing to hide. No. I'm an open book. My home is always open. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we govern what we do. You don't have to worry about hiding anything. You don't have to worry about hiding anything. No. Once you're walking in this truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, and have put off, we put off the, the, the old man with his deeds, and you put on the new man, which is Yahshua HaMashiach, which is created in knowledge and truth. Hallelujah. Way. We must walk in all obedience. We must be examples one to another. Can I tell you from this, from the time Rayak and I started, and he was teaching me, I took many notes. You know why I took those notes? Because I want to go back over them, and I want to study, to be a workman, a workman not ashamed, and to put it on right doing this. Yes. That's why I took notes. I've always taken notes. <coughs> I've learned it from Rayak. But I took notes so I could go back if I forgot something. Because sometimes we do, we forget. Yes. But I would take notes and I would practice the things that he would preach and teach to me. You know, you can't keep saying, well, I didn't know or, you know, did nobody tell me. When, when you hear the messenger yes. and you've taken notes, then you go back over there. And you look at it, you examine the scriptures. That's what you examine the scriptures and you apply it to you. You know, we can look around and look at each other, but we never look at ourselves yes, and see what we fall short. Yes, I want y'all strength in me. I want his true ahava. Yes, yes, I want his long suffering. He is long suffering. Yes. That's why we're still here. Yes. And as we hear this truth, we must let it make us free. Yes. Who the Son makes free is free indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to go to Deuteronomy chapter 4. Hallelujah. I'm not going to be before you long. I'm a little tired in body. Hallelujah. But I praise y'all for all so things. Nice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we have been having an excellent time. Yes. The door has been faithful with their working and their assistance with helping me with the meals and the cleaning. You still got to clean. You still have to pick up. You just can't let things go. Hallelujah. So that's what we've been doing. And we have been partaking of this true living bread. Hallelujah. Doing Tabernacle 2020. Totally. Hallelujah. So I'm going to Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 9. Hallelujah. It says, only take heed to yourself. And keep your nephes, your nephes diligently. Lest ye forget the things which thy eyes have seen and least they depart from your land all the days of your life. But teach them to your sons and to your sons. Sons. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So daughters, as we learn this truth, as we apply it to our lives, we must teach it to our children. They don't understand this truth, so we must make time to teach it to our children. Every day we must talk about Yahshua HaMashiach. 
and the disciplines that go along with that. Hallelujah. Every day in your home, you must exalt Almighty Yahweh. You say you love him. Well, if you love him, you're going to talk about it. Yes. I talk about Raya. There's not a day that goes by that I don't speak about Raya Dawi. Because we are one. And I say, I have him. So if I, I have him, I must speak of him. So if you are Hava Yah in your Shu Hamashir, you must exalt him in your home daily. If you have children that you're having problems with, you reading Torah in your homes. It'll bring about a spirit of discipline. Yes. Hallelujah. So daughters, this is for you today. Yes. If you're having problems with your children, start reading Torah in your homes. You start being an example that the children can see. You can't beat it into them. But you can be that light that they can see. If they see you being disciplined, they will start being disciplined. But it starts with you. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Way. Hallelujah. I want to go to First Peter. Praise y'all. Bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you, Abba. Yeah, we have to be examples one to another. Yes. And you can't, you, we can't make excuses. Yahshua right. was the example. Yes. We must follow. Yes. The daughters here, as I see them strive to do what is pleasing, you exhort those daughters. You do. Yes. Those that are doing wrong, then you have to correct them. Yes. It's, it's like having children. And when you have children, do you just let them do anything? No. no. You correct them. Yes. You tell them what's right. You show them how to do things right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have indoors, you show them how to clean the house. Yeah. So it's something you don't have to do all the time. Once you show them how to do it, they should know how to do it. Don't take no 50 years. No. When my mother started housekeeping on her own, I was nine years old when my mother left my father. Nine. She sent me down and she would instruct me on what she wanted me to do. Can I tell you, I didn't know, I could do dishes, but I didn't know how to cook. I couldn't do my hair, but can I tell you, it didn't take me long. I did my hair, I did my sister's hair, I put the dinner on, I did the breakfast dishes. Most of the time my big brother would cook breakfast, and he would show me how to do things. So it didn't take me no 50 years doing no, this. No. It took a willing heart. Hallelujah. And I wanted to please my, my Eva. Yes. So that's all we need to do, take the willing heart yes. and learn to walk in obedience. Uh, yeah. But I want to read 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21 and 22. Hallelujah. 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 For even here unto were you called, because Yahshua also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. Who did no sin, neither was God found in his mouth. So he went to the state for you and I. He did no sin. But he took on the sins of you and I. Can I tell you, I'm, I wasn't worthy. But I told him, yeah, for his heart seed and his kindness towards me. Hallelujah. Towards me. Hallelujah. So he is the example that we must follow. So daughters, if you come here and you're making excuses, I'm going to tell you I don't want to hear it. Because if Yahshua has already made the way for us, we must strive to be thankful. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, there are not going to be many that walk this way. I don't look for the many. But the few that you find here and there, I take great delight in their fellowship. I do. You know, I, look, I learned that from Rayon. They're not many, but when he finds someone that's striving to keep this toward true, yeah. he always welcomes them here. He does. So I've learned that from him. Just a few. They're not many. You can think what you want. They're not many that love Almighty Yah. No. They're not many daughters that are willing to be examples. You find them making excuses. No, well, I don't no. want to be that type. No. I came up in the era of daughters that my teachers, the people that I knew in the congregation, they strove for excellence. And I know that we can walk this way in excellence by knowing who the Redeemer is. 
So we must walk in all excellence. He said, I don't make excuses. I said, I'll do better. And there's nothing that I can't do with the help of Almighty God. So if we think that way, we can. Yes. So we told Yah for his understanding, for his truth, let this truth wash and purge you and make you clean. You can't think like the world anymore. We must think like Yahshua HaMashiach in our everyday living. Let this word purge you. I pray that it be a strength to you. Yes, I'm a little tired in body, but I'm not weary and well do. Hallelujah. Let us press yeah. as never before. Yes. For all that we do, we must do it as unto Almighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. So we told y'all for all things. We we pray that you all are going online to hear the messages that's being taught. Hallelujah. I take great delight in this truth mm -hmm. because this truth has made me free. Hallelujah. So again, we greet you all from Teshua community. Hallelujah. This is for the daughters only. Hallelujah. So we will be back. I said we'd be back in September, and we are. We will be back with more great things from Tashua, from the daughters. What the children do here, we're going to share it with you. Yes. Cooking in the kitchen, we're going to share it with you. Yes. Because that's what we're supposed to do. Yes. Hallelujah. So Yahweh Baruch, you all have an excellent, excellent Yom in Yahshua HaMashiach. Greetings again from Tashua community. Hallelujah. 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 H